We're looking at thousands and thousands of the corn cover contest entries. It's tough. We've been throwing up all day over this. <laughs> Work out and look like this. But we're not looking for a perfection here. We know it's it's done by fans, so we're not looking for some top notch. And like that could be the winner. You never know. I just like that they took out time. You know, because this didn't take Wait, that's two it. seconds to make. Still the kids actually took some time and put time into it. So I mean, we respect them all. Sounds good. Yeah. Simple. Simple. It's good. Yeah, effective. What you really want to know if this is real? A tattoo on your tongue of corn. That is a two fan right that's there. Right. How do you like corn? Yeah. How oh, the show's going? Really good. That's cool. How long you been playing guitar? Forever. What kind of guitar string do you use? Big ones. Look up with lighter, medium picks, a little heavy. Heavy. That's because you keep on that raw, heavy, seven string, mean, nasty shit. Huh? You know how I do it. <laughs> so you play left handed or right? Right handed. I heard you chopped off your finger on a motorcycle. It's true. <laughs> well, this sure has been a wacky night, but me and the gang learned a lot, and we hope you did too. You all perceived us to be mean, evil people, but really we're just normal guys. And we all perceive part ghosts to be real, when actually they were just cotton swabs. So I guess the lesson is, it's easy to perceive something some way and then be wrong. So we all need to learn to be a little less perceptive. Yeah. The gang and I wrote a song about it, and it goes a little something like this. And a one, and a two, and a... and relive that shit. Because it was the most dark period of your life. <laughs> um, can you listen to that song or not? I don't listen to it. No, you don't listen to it. No. Um, can I ask one more question about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there has been some debate and was some, some sort of con controversy about, well, that you would think that you wrote about your dad, but it, it was not. He, Nothing about my dad. I want to bring out one of my truest and oldest and most beloved old friends to come out and have some fun with us. You guys ready? My boy! You know, meth will make you do some crazy things, but I would scoop out the white deodorant part and put, oh, okay. and, and put meth like in a baggie. It'll also make you crafty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I put it in the white. So it's cool. I could laugh about it now. I put it in the in the white stuff and then I would pack the white stuff back on it oh, and then put the okay. deodorant stick back together. Yeah. Because I was thinking, you know, I, you know how many airports I've been in yeah. and those, those officers walk around with the dogs mm -hmm. and I'm thinking they'll smell the deodorant. They won't smell the meth in a baggie if it's mixed in with the deodorant. So, and that worked. It I worked. Guess so. Wow. All right. Now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pray for some of these things that I'm a slave to. It went in steps, so that I was, you know, set free with no withdrawals. You know, from the weed to the pills, you know, everything. I stopped. Over time, he became more aware of his need for God's forgiveness. I walk into the bathroom and put my face on the floor and just say, forgive me, man, like, because some of the things I did were so bad, you know, and I just knew he said, I forgive you, son. 